Hello team, <coughs> greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB. This is Nirish Kumar Singh and you are watching Agile Tester Certification. Uh, we are in the chapter 1, topic 1.2 aspects of Agile approaches. In the previous tutorial, we understood about extreme programming, Scrum and Kanban. Here we are going to understand more about what are user stories and why do we call it as collaborative user story creation. Now, let's get started with some of the basic fundamentals about user stories. In general, uh, user stories are actually your requirements in Agile, which you call as specification or requirements in uh, a traditional approaches. And uh, when you talk about traditional approaches, of course, we create heavy and lengthy documentation and separately uh, in terms of like BRD, FRD, SRD and all those things which are separately created for different aspects like business requirements, functional requirements, system requirements, and non-functional requirements would be separately done. Now, when you talk about uh, Agile, of course, uh, we are talking about having short form of the same thing, which is a short summary of each requirement. But all the aspects of a particular functionality or maybe a requirement would be put together. That means you don't have uh, separate documents talking about the business requirements, security requirements, performance requirements. Just one user story, what's the functionality, and what are the non-functional parameters of it. But when we talk about collaborative user stories, of course, generally we have problems in traditional approaches when people are finding it difficult to understand that what is the requirement. So major issues which we have faced earlier is about having misunderstanding or no proper communication between the stakeholders because it's only the business analyst which used to write the requirements. And of course, business analysts need to communicate and had a lot of clear uh, requirements issues. So we have overcome that barrier by saying it as the user stories are collaborative. That means it is not one person's responsibility to write the user stories. It is collaborative from all the stakeholders of the organization. It includes developers, testers, business representatives, sponsors, a scrum master, any such person who is a stakeholder in the project will be contributing to user stories while it is created. So let the team be anyone from any particular stakeholding team will be uh, contributing in terms of creating the user stories internally, which would generally help us to understand and create effective user stories. And also we can avoid inconsistencies side by side, we'll be reviewing it. So we can reduce our effort to a lot. And of course, if everyone knows about the requirement, we don't have to create a lengthy and heavy documentation. When it comes to uh, understanding the technical parameters of the user stories, uh, here are the details of that. The user stories must address both functional and non-functional characteristics, including the acceptance criteria for that particular story. That how, on what basis, will this be accepted by the customer? These criteria should be defined in collaborations of the stakeholders like business representatives, developers and testers, where they will be adding value to the user stories while they are being listed. And of course, uh, we understood it in the previous tutorial that uh, uh, a task will be considered as finished or done. The definition of done will be determined with certain set of uh, acceptance criteria, which will be determined by the client. And of course, uh, when you talk about the testers uh, input that obviously we have known from the ISTQ foundation already that reviews are one of the best ways to do it. And testers are effective contributor to the reviews or preparation on the uh, user stories which will be used as a reference for creating the documentations. So of course testers must be invited or involved in uh, writing the user stories by contributing and giving their aspects and perspective towards the uh, functionality as well as the requirement what we are looking to develop further. We have certain techniques so when you talk about uh, creating the uh, user stories or collaborative user stories. We have techniques like brainstorming, which is generally about uh, calling on the past experience. Mind mapping is what we generally discuss internally within two people or three people. And then we try to see what you have to say and what I'm trying to say, trying to convince each other just like a group discussion activity and come up with a common conclusion at the end of it. Sometime we can also say that we have a specific te uh, technique about the tester is invest. Invest is a technique which is uh, actually a short form of six major parameters. Like each user story must be independent. 
negotiable, valuable, estimable, small, and testable. Now, independent means it should be uniquely created. It should not have conflict with any other user story. Negotiable means we should be able to uh, rework on that in case anything is required. Assumptions can be made or not. If it is strict, stagnant, then of course we need to look forward to make it negotiable. Valuable, of course, whether this is going to add any value to the completion towards the product or it is just an add-on service which is not going to add any kind of coverage or value to the product. Estimable, of course, it should be measurable or it should be able to estimate that how much effort is required for this particular story to be developed. Small, generally we talk about agile, we work with small chunk of pieces within the requirement so we don't make heavy or a big collaborative thing. We always try to make it as simple as possible and of course each user story must be testable. So we determine these by using such techniques called as invest technique and these are the parameters of that. According to 3C's concept, we also have something called a 3C's concept which can be used as a part of Agile software development model. And generally when it comes to user story creation, we make use of these 3C concept where the 3C's stand for card, conversation and confirmation. When you talk about card, it means to say that each uh, user's story must be physically created in form of cards which can be passed from one member to another or maybe when you're using a board you generally make use of sticky notes and put it on the board so that people can move it from one particular column to another column or pick it up to understand what is the work to be done next and generally uh, after doing all the work we can also determine that whether this card has been completed then we can just push it out of the board and move it to a different board altogether. Conversation generally helps that it's not one person's responsibility to determine the quality in the product. So entire development team will be equally responsible to determine the quality in the product. So conversation becomes very important and generally we communicate with each other to determine what should be done the best to achieve the success. So it's not just that the developer codes are being written. Even when you write test scripts, to automate something, you get it reviewed by the developers. That is this what we will, uh, you know, will help us to achieve the acceptance criteria or not, or maybe anything related to that. So conversations are given more priority when it comes to create the user stories. And of course, confirmation. That means each user story must have well-defined acceptance criteria. Because if you do not have an acceptance criteria, then of course it will become a challenge to determine what you are doing is going to achieve that or not. Of course, it should be term in, in, in the term of functional as well as non-functional. And if the acceptance criteria is met, we consider the task is complete or the user story is done. So generally, you should identify a unique acceptance criteria or the acceptance criteria for that particular task to be done. So 3Cs talk about having cards, having good communication within the team, and having well-defined criteria for the confirmation. So that's all from uh, here team. Uh, we will be looking ahead for the next tutorial uh, in the next video. Of course, uh, in case you have any queries, you can feel free to comment below. I'll be there to assist you with more details. These slides will be available on SlideShare. You can just uh, follow me on SlideShare link, which you can find in the description. And then you can find the details of these slide shots. Is there anything else? Let me know. And uh, till then, keep learning, keep exploring keep understanding. Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.